Welcome to driver training. Here you'll be taken through the operation of a Southeastern Class 395 Javelin. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. To unlock the control desk, insert and set the master key to the on position. The reverser is used to activate the driving cab and determines the direction of travel. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from external sources such as DC third rail lines east of Ebbsfleet International and AC overhead wires between London and Ebbsfleet International. As we're in the third rail part of the route, press the pan up shoes down button to lower the pickup shoes so that we can connect to the power. You can confirm this has worked by verifying the line light is lit. The main circuit breaker will need to be closed to allow power to reach the entire train. Close the MCB now by pressing the pan up shoes down button again and confirm the MCB VCB light goes out. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. For this introduction, you'll be driving as far as Stratford International. This train uses a DRA, or Driver's Reminder Appliance. This is a safety system which ensures that power cannot be applied to the train and prevents the driver from running through a red signal. Before departure, this will need to be unset. This train is now ready to depart. Release the brakes and apply a small amount of power to get moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the handle into the braking range. You are now approaching Ebbsfleet International. 
so apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable, safe stop. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. This section of the line features a changeover in power and signalling as we switch from the third rail beneath us to the overhead wires that are now above us. We'll also switch from using miles per hour to kilometers per hour speeds and the TVM in-cab signalling will be in use from here. To begin the power changeover, set the reverser to the neutral position. Now hold the CTRL button to raise the third rail shoes and change to the overhead pantograph. When you're going the other way, use the DC button to switch to the third rail for the eastern leg of the journey. Next, press the pan up shoes down button to raise the pantograph. Finally, press the pan up shoes down button again to close the main circuit breaker and ensure power reaches the entire train. You can check that this has happened by validating the MCB VCB light has gone out. Nicely done, you're in good shape to continue the journey. Proceed to the next stop at Stratford International unguided this time and see how you get on.
Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. Welcome to driver training. Here you'll be taken through the operation of a Southeastern Class 375 Electrostar. During this brief introduction, we'll go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. To activate the control desk, set the master key to on. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. Your next stop is Chatham. Make sure the line is clear before departing. This train is now ready to depart. Use the power brake handle to apply power and get moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the handle into the braking range. You're now approaching Chatham. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Proceed to the next stop at Rochester unguided this time and see how you get on.
Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.